Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video, scales, I am going to give you an introduction about the scales, what are the types and how they are drawn. You know in engineering practice, we draw many things. We draw buildings, we will draw machine parts, we draw small electronic components, we may even draw parts of your wristwatch, parts of your mobile, parts of your radio, topographical drawings, geographical uh, drawings. You know when you draw these things, you need to produce it on a piece of paper, right? You have to draw it on a paper. It's not possible to produce a drawing of the same size, size of the object. It's not possible. When you draw a building, can you make a paper of that size and draw? No. So what you do is, we keep a fixed relationship between the length in an object and the length which it represents in a drawing. When you draw a big object as a small drawing, when you draw a big object as a small drawing, agreed? You call it as a reducing drawing. The length The length in a drawing, the ratio length in a drawing to the actual length is called a representative fraction. Length in a drawing to the actual length is called a representative fraction. So if you draw an actual length of 1 meter as 1 centimeter in a drawing, if you draw a length of 1 meter as 1 centimeter in a drawing, the length in the drawing is 1 centimeter and the actual length is 1 meter. That is 1 centimeter divided by 100 centimeter equals 1 by 100 equals 1 is to 100. Agreed? This is a reducing scale. So, if you use this relationship in a drawing, in the title block of the sheet, drawing sheet, on the right bottom corner, you have got a title block. In the title block, you will be writing the drawing, details of the drawing, the company to which the organization to which the drawing belongs to, the date of preparation of the drawing, the person who has prepared the drawing, details of the person who has prepared the drawing, the scale which is used, the scale which is used and such details. There you will write the scale as 1 is to 100. What does it mean? You are drawing 100 units of an object as one unit in the drawing. So, a smaller numerator and a larger denominator represent a reducing scale, big object drawn as small drawing. Agreed? So, when the RF is small numerator divided by large denominator, it represents a reducing scale. But there will be cases where you draw a small object as a big drawing because for manufacturing it, you need the details of the dimensions. So, you cannot produce a small page you can produce a small drawing as small as the needle of your watch or the small gears in the watch. You have to prepare them as a big drawing for clarity because it has to be manufactured. Somebody has to make it in their workshop and assemble together to produce the watch, isn't it? So, there will be a larger R of required. In such case, if you use, say, if you draw a small distance of 1 millimeter as 1 centimeter, a small distance of 1 millimeter in the object is drawn as 1 centimeter for a large that is equal to 1 10 millimeter 1 centimeter is 10 millimeter you know 10 mm divided by 1 mm equals 10 by 1 equals 10 is to 1. So a larger numerator and a smaller denominator represents a small object drawn as a big drawing. Agreed? So the two cases you can now understand. You can practically think. You are drawing a building, you make it as a small drawing. You are 
drawing the parts of a watch, you make it as a big drawing. Okay. Then there are so many cases where you draw the object with the same dimension in the drawing. An object drawn with the same dimension. We call it full size drawing. We call it full size drawing. So whatever is the RF you are using, whatever is the RF you are using in preparing a drawing, you will write the RF in the title block. If you are using a reducing RF, typical example, 1 is to 100, you will write scale 1 is to 100. If you are using this sort of a, an enlarging scale, you will write scale 10 is to 1. And if you are using the same dimension, you will write scale full size. Say scale full size. So what is the difference between RF and scale? RF is nothing but the scale. Scale usually is a pictorial representation of the RF. RF is nothing but the scale. But when you draw scale, when you say scale in drawing, scale is a pictorial representation of the RF taking some distances. We take some distances and make a pictorial representation of RF. That is called scale. Agreed? So what is scale? What are we going to learn in this chapter? In this chapter named as scales, you are going to draw pictorial representation of RF. Now, when you come to scales, there are most important scales four types. One is called the plane scale, diagonal scale, Vernier scale, then comparative scale, then scale of course and things like that. These are the most important ones which you need to learn from the subject point of view. I hope you understand. Agreed? Now we will be seeing in the subsequent uh, videos, we will be saying plane scales, diagonal scales and vernier, vernier scales and comparative scale as four separate videos. We will be doing few problems in these things. Agreed? Now, before drawing the scales, plane scale, diagonal scale, vernier scale, comparative scale, etc. There are certain basic informations which I would like to convey to you. One is the relationship between distances. Relationship between distances, you have studied them in your school days, but there is high probability that you don't remember them. Marnu it now. School Padicha, distance in the Tamil relationship of Marnu it now. Can you read them one? I am going to write them. Please note them down and try to remember them. 10 millimeters equals 1 centimeter. 10 millimeters equals 1 centimeter. 10 centimeters equal to 1 decimeter. 10 decimeter is equal to 1 meter. 10 meter equals 1 decameter. 10 decameter 1 hectometer. And 10 hectometer equals 1 kilometer. You know these things. You know these things. Okay. Then 25.4 millimeters equals 1 inch. Agree? 12 inches equals 1 foot. 3 feet equals 1 yard, 220 yard equals 1 furlong, 8 furlongs equals 1 mile, 10,000 meter square equals 1 1 hectare. Agreed? Or you can say 
100 meter square is equal to 1 r. You are supposed to know these things. You are supposed to know these things for comfortably drawing scales. These informations you have already studied. Okay. Please make a note of these things. Please make a note of these things. Okay. Now, there are certain tasks which you may face while drawing scales. Now, you may face certain tasks while drawing a scale. One is how to divide a distance. Okay, let us consider this distance. This distance is a 10 cm. Assume this distance is 10 cm. If you want to divide this distance into 10 equal parts, what will you do? You will keep the scale over this and 1 cm apart you mark points. That is sufficiently good. That is sufficient. Agree? 10 cm to be divided into 10 equal parts. If you want to divide it into 4 equal parts, what will you do? You will keep your scale at 2.5 cm apart, you mark points. Okay, fine. No problem. If you want to divide it into 5 equal parts, 2 cm each. No problem. Agree? Now, suppose you want to divide it into 6 equal parts. Agree? You want to divide this 10 cm into 6 equal parts. What will you do? It is difficult. So under such circumstances or under such conditions, you have to follow some method. It's compulsory. You have to follow some method. I am going to explain to you how it is done or what is the method. Okay. This is what you do. <coughs> Draw any line at any angle, at one end. Any line at any angle. At one end. Agreed? Any angle. Okay. Take any distance in your divider. Any distance. Place it six. How many times you want to divide this into? Six. You want to divide this into six pieces. It's an R piece atom. So take any distance and place it six times here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Agreed? Yeah, no, any angle, any distance, draw a line. Either here or here. Take any distance in your divider. Place it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. If you want to divide this into 10 equal, 4 equal parts, 4 times. 3 equal parts, 3 times. 6 equal parts, 6 times. Join the last point to this. By a straight line. Agreed? Now, through these points, you have to draw lines parallel to this. How will you do that? The method is this. Keep one side of your set square on the line. Block the other side. Block any one of the other sides. Move this. When it comes here, draw a line. Further move this. Further move this. Draw a line. Further move this. Draw a line. Don't move this scale. Uh, set square. You have to block the mobility of one set, one side, one side of that set square, and then move only one set square. Okay, that is the method of drawing parallel lines. Since this uh, distance is too big, I am not able to show you properly. I will show it here. Suppose this is parallel to this. Agree? Look at this. Agreed? Agreed? Move this. Move, Move this further. I hope you understand. So this method has to be followed. This method has to be followed whenever you have a distance that is not easily divisible. 
that method will carry marks okay with this basic introduction i will be passing on to the various types of skills one more thing i will tell you printing when you print when you write the writing in drawing is called the printing there is no free hand writing all alphabets all this sort of writing has to be just like printing what is the relationship if the height is 5 width is 3 5 is to 3 5 is to 3 if the height is 5 width is 3 for all alphabets except w m i and j for w and m it is 5 is to 4 for i and j or i j also may I it is a vertical line only now. So the vertical there is no ratio at all. It's a vertical line. You can avoid these two things. So it's a vertical line. For J, instead of this this uh, arc, this hook like portion is very small, you can make it 5 is to 2 if you want. 5 is to 2. 5 is to 3. 5 is to 3 for all other alphabets. Agreed? And also digits, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Keep them. Keep that ratio. That gives you ergonomically, no, ergonomically, that is the printing standard for vision. Ergonomically, I mean for vision, for the purpose of vision. Kai cheke logam angiyeri chetola dimension ani jan parayinad. Logam angiyeri chetola proportion five is to three. That is the standard method dimension followed everywhere in our earth. Agree? That is for printing letters, printing 5 is to 3. Except for W and M, for which it is 5 is to 4. And for I, J can be 5 is to 2. And I, it is a vertical line, there is no ratio required. So, whenever you are printing, you are supposed to follow this. I don't ask you to follow it to exact dimensions, but a proportion has to be maintained. Don't draw, when you, when you write B, don't write B like this. Agreed? Write B like this with a proportion of 5 is to 3. Artistic drawing and engineering printing are different. Artistic printing and uh, engineering printing uh, are different. So, you have to follow a standard in all drawing. That's why it is insisted. I hope you understand. Uh, from the next video onwards, we will draw go to plane scale, diagonal scale, and vernier scale separately. Okay? Thank you.